Good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So thank you all very much for being here. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. If I go too fast, tell me to slow down, OK? Raise your hand and say, slow down. OK. So today, today we call an introduction to coaching. And the day is not for me. It is for you. And today I will cover all, everything I can think about coaching. What is coaching? What is the difference between coaching, therapy, consulting, training? We'll talk about how does a coach work with their client? Uh, I'll talk a little bit about how do you train as a coach so you have an understanding. We'll talk about money and I'll talk about how much does a coach make? How, what, how much money do they make? And I will give you examples in different parts of the world. We'll talk about how do coaches get their clients. And if I haven't scared you away, after lunch, or maybe before lunch, I'll do a little bit on spiritual coaching. Would that be okay? Yeah, just a little bit. I, I won't frighten you all away. Huh? And then um, th this afternoon, I will, then, I will then teach you a coaching model, a coaching method. And it will be very gentle, very gentle. I will demonstrate it. And then I will give you the opportunity, if you want, to practice it. And we'll talk about how did that feel and, and so on. Now, very importantly, today is your day. And I want you to ask any question at all, any question ab about coaching, the industry, the company, uh, anything. I don't want you to go home with questions. So don't be embarrassed. Please, please ask. Okay. I'm going to show some PowerPoints, some documents, some websites. I'll do some drawing on the board um, and, and we'll give some handouts as well. The world we live in today is um, it's a strange world. It's a funny world. It's an ever-changing world. There was a survey done literally two weeks ago in the United Kingdom um, by one of the big work uh, federation of small business. And they found that 80% of people, 80% do not enjoy their jobs. And I'm sure it's the same, not just United Kingdom, but everywhere in the world. And it's not just joy. 80% of people get no happiness from their job. They get no joy. They get, there's a, there's a, a word that I like called bliss. Do you know what I mean by bliss? Bliss is like an, an internal feeling of just happiness and joy and peace and contentment. And over 80% of people in the world don't get that feeling from their job. And I think that's terrible. Because we have to go to work all day, every day to put food on the table, to look after our children, our families, and to have to go to work and not love it is, uh, I don't know, it's just, I don't have an answer, but it's just not right. I have been involved in coaching now. Um, I trained as a coach in 1995 and we started training coaches in 99. So we've been training coaches for 23 years and I love coaching. Coaching is, is what I do and it gives me a sense of integrity. I feel good about what I do. It gives me a sense of fulfillment and it gives me a sense of deep 
joy. When I work with another human being and I, I see, and it's not just see, it's, it's you, you know, you feel, you, you feel that person change. You feel them grow in front of your eyes. I, I can't explain it. It's just a, a most wonderful situation to be in, you know? And, and I love what I do. I just love what I do. Um, and when that survey came out two weeks ago, it made me realize how lucky I am to be in a, a job or a career that I genuinely love doing. So I, you know, I thought, thank you for, for allowing me to, to do this. Okay. Now, before we go on, I want to start the day with um, something wonderful. We have here in our room a very special lady, Deanna. And Deanna has just completed her diploma and she has her certificate. As a Congratulations, well done. This, to achieve this diploma is something wonderful. The course that Diana has done is over 400 hours of training, coaching, lectures, webinars, study buddies, research, writing. It has been, it has been uh, one of the, uh, the Institute for Leadership and Management has equated it to a master's. So to, to achieve that is wonderful. So Diana, well done. Well done. Thank you. Now, in the world of coaching, for the purpose of today, I will say that there are two types of coach, the good and the successful. And what I find annoying is that the good are not always successful. And what I find a little bit upsetting is that the successful are not always good. Do you know what I mean by that? They might, they might be successful coaches. It doesn't mean they're good at coaching. They just happen to be good at marketing. So, um, and you know, they look good. You see them on Facebook, on LinkedIn, lovely big smiles, very well made up. They look great. It doesn't mean they're a good coach. So what, I, what we want to do in Noble Manhattan is do both. We want to create magnificent coaches who are wonderful at coaching. But we also want to make sure that they are successful at coaching. So a number of years ago, we started to create what I would call initiatives. These have now grown and have become divisions of our organization. And I want to spend, before we get into coaching, and I will explain what coaching is, I just want to take five minutes and I want to give you um, an overview of our organization. If you think of Noble Manhattan Coaching, we are a coach training school, like a college. We have many different courses, about 12, all coaching. Everything from a, a one day introduction right up to a master's degree in coaching. So if you think of Noble Manhattan Coaching in the middle, we are a coach training school and we are in 25 countries and we do our training in many languages. So obviously we do it in Bulgarian, Romanian, Turkish, Polish, Spanish, English. We've just launched in French and we're working on Arabic right now. And maybe next year we will look at Russian. We have Noble Manhattan coaching in the middle and round about we have all these different initiatives. So I'd like to show you, if I can, just for five minutes, some of these. Ah, the coffee is very good, Brian. 
<laughs> okay, so this is the main Noble Manhattan website. Okay, we own a magazine. It's the biggest magazine in the coaching world. It is called International Coaching News. It goes out right now to over 100,000 people in multiple countries. We employ a completely separate team. We have our own managing director, international editors, graphic designers, copyright, all of that. And we give the magazine away for free because we want to get the information to the world. And we allow all of our students and coaches to write for the magazine if they want, completely free. They can write articles, interviews, case studies, white papers, anything like that, and we will publish. And when we publish, your name and photograph and LinkedIn profile is there, and it helps to raise your brand and helps you to become known around the world. Uh, and it's now the biggest magazine in the coaching world, and we're very proud of it. We run coaching support groups, physical groups that meet in many different parts of the world. Uh, so we have support groups in all of these places, and I'll come to Bulgaria in a minute. We have them in India, in all these cities. Every group is run by um, a president and a team of officers. And we've, we run a meeting one evening every month where people can come. We do a lecture or a talk or a training and there's networking, lots of coffee, lots of coffee. Okay, coffee is good. And the, um, we do masterminds and practice coaching and so on. So here in Mumbai, we have our president Alpa and a team of officers. And here in Sofia, we have Diana, who is our wonderful, wonderful coaching support group president here in Sofia. And we run these in many cities all over the world so that our coaches and students can come and network and learn and not feel lonely, not feel alone, you know. We own, we own a register called Coach Finder, coachfinder.com. It's the biggest register of coaches in the world. And all of our people can have their own uh, listing. And you can upload photographs, audio, video, resume, uh, your biography, uh, events that you are running. And clients can find you, coaches can find. And they can search by uh, type of coaching. So we have life coaching, executive coaching, career coaching, confidence coaching, team coaching, stress coaching, all sorts. And here are some of our wonderful people. Or they can search by the map and look all around the world, or they can search. Now, all of our people, anyone within Noble Manhattan, it is free, completely free. Anyone outside of Noble Manhattan, they pay um, to be on the register. But it is a benefit for our people and our family all over the world. We own a radio station called Coach Radio. The name is good, Coach Radio International. And we broadcast in 11 or 12 languages. So Romanian, Bulgarian, 
Turkish, Polish, Arabic, and we allow all of our people to have their own monthly radio show. So you can have your own radio show and we will teach you. We, we, we give training on how to do it. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And we have done a deal with a little company, I, you might not have heard of them. Uh, called iTunes. <laughs> and all of our shows appear on iTunes and stay there forever. And it helps you to raise your brand and your image. Um, let me see. This is on now. That's Agnesia from Johannesburg in South Africa. So she's on right now. Um, so you can have your own radio show and do interviews or talk and, um, and it goes all over the world and it helps to raise your image and your brand. We have a division that's more technical. Uh, it's IT tools or coaching tools. So if someone needs help in setting up a website, on setting up all of their social media, on setting up a blog site or vlog, video log site, if they need help, help with search engine optimization, um, we have a, a team of IT people that will do that for you. So again, uh, not everyone needs that, but some people need that help. We have a publishing arm called Books for You. And we will publish for all of our people. How much do we charge? Zero. We will publish anything uh, digital. So ebooks articles, uh, white papers, interviews, and so on, essays, uh, free of charge, and it goes out around the world. And if you want to sell them, we will even sell those for you. We will collect the money and give the money to you. We keep 5% to handle for cash handling, which I think is fair. So, get the credit card charge, that sort of thing. Okay. We have a lead generation site or system. I, you might not understand the language, but we will set up for you uh, landing pages, lead generation pages to help you get inquiries from potential possible clients. And finally, we have the Alpha Group, which is very specialized. And it, it is for those people who specifically want to work with business owners. And we give you extra training and show you how to set that up. And we have an alpha group in 31 countries. And we have one here in Sofia. Uh, I, we have two here in Sofia. Um, so doing very well. And finally, I think finally, we have Noble Coaches. Noble Coaches is where we go out into the world. We contact large organizations. We negotiate a contract. And then we give that work to some of the people who have trained with us. We give it to them and they deliver and they get paid. We share the revenue with them. So we go out, we find the work, we negotiate, and the work is usually something like executive coaching, team coaching, management development, leadership development, usually in that sort of area. And here are some of our clients. Don't know if you've ever so Airbus, big European manufacturer, um, Bank Commercial, Romania, City, an American 
uh, insurance and banking organization. Um, I don't know if you've, you've probably not heard of this, uh, Coca-Cola, just, just a little company. So uh, Lot Polish Airlines, um, oh, Pepsi-Cola, um, Raffiasen Bank, um, an Austrian bank, um, Siemens, German company. So all over the world, all over Europe. Um, so we actually go out, find the work and give it to some of the people who have trained with us. So all of these are made available. 90% of them are free of charge um, for all of our students. Because we want, you to not, we want you to be a magnificent coach, but also to be successful. So that you can take your knowledge and actually work with human beings and change them or help them to change in a way that they want to. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. And the world, I won't get metaphysical on you, but right now the world is in a strange place. The world is in a strange place. I don't know if you watch the news or read newspapers, but right now there is a wave of aggression sweeping the planet. Have you seen that? There's a wave of aggression. There are groups of people all over the world trying to hurt other groups of people all over the world. But at the same time, there is a wave of awareness sweeping the planet at the same time. So there is a wave of aggression and violence, but there is also a wave of awareness. Uh, and the two are rising. And we, of course, live on the side of awareness. You know, that's where we live in the world of coaching. And coaching has the ability to change individual human beings. And if you can change an individual, you can impact their family in a positive way. If you impact a family, then you impact the community. And if you impact the community, you can impact the country. So it's like a wave going out. And if you can change one human being, or help, not we change, help them to change in a way that they want to, then the ripples go out forever, you know? And this is what we as in coaching, this is what we do. And we do it with integrity. And this is why I love coaching. I've been doing it now for, I don't know, Novel Manhattan. Or oh, you, might, you might be interested to know these figures. I'm going to give you some figures today. And they are produced by a company called PWC, Price Waterhouse Coopers. Have you, have you heard of? Yeah. Okay. They do a survey every year on coaching. And right now, coaching is the second fastest growing industry in the world. And not just this year, but for the last four consecutive years. The number two, the second fastest growing industry in the world. Oh, do you know what number one is? Do you, number one? No, not nursing. The, the fastest growing industry in the world right now? IT. Yeah, and, and AI. And so IT, hardware, software, all together. That's growing crazy. And uh, on Monday, I'm doing a big build your coaching practice. I'm doing a training on how to build. And I will be talking about how to use IT and chat GPT and many things like like that. But IT is number one. Coaching, number two. And again, this is just my feeling. And I could be wrong. 
But I feel that the universe creates what it needs when it needs it. And coaching is a young industry. It actually started 1983. So that's not a long time ago. Some of you weren't even born then, but I was, so. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's now move on to, let's move on to coaching. Uh, I'm not going to put my PowerPoint into uh, movie mode because I'm going to be moving back and forth and uh, it doesn't matter. So, welcome. A little bit about Noble Manhattan. Oh. Did you know there are 900 coach training companies in the world? All over the world, you know, from China to America to South Africa. About, about 900. Noble Manhattan, our company, we are in the top three. So they call it... Um, the accreditation bodies, they, they call it the Premier League. A bit like, you know, football has a Premier League? Yeah? No? Yes? Yeah? No? no. So we're in the Premier League. So, okay. Um, we started, um, I started coaching in 95. That's when I trained. Took me a year to train to be a coach. And then I started coaching in 96. And I live in the United Kingdom. Um, uh, I am not English, I'm Irish, but I live in the UK. Um, and back then, in 96, no one had ever heard of coaching. No one. So when I said to people, I'm a coach, <laughs> they used to say, ah, how much is a ticket from London to Manchester? <laughs> Because the word coach and autobus are the, are the same in English, you know? Um, and, and they would say, does your coach have toilets on? You know? And, and how much is a ticket from here to... And it was really like being a pioneer, you know? No one had heard of coaching. And I had to, I had to educate people. I had to explain before I could ask them to pay any money, you know? And they say, what, you want me to pay just to talk to me? You, I can talk to my friend for nothing, you know? Um, and so I had to explain what it was and it was really, it was tough. It was tough. Um, and from 96 to 99, I coached and coached and coached and coached and coached and coached. And, coached. and any, anyone I could coach with, I, I practiced. And, and, and built up my clients and, and learned my, my career, learned my trade, like an apprentice. Uh, and I did that every single day for three years. Um, and then in 1999, I started to train coaches. And it was just me at the beginning, me on my own. I didn't have an office, I worked from home. Um, and then it grew and then I took on one person to help me with administration and then I took on a second person um, and it, it started to, to grow and grow and then we, we moved into a tiny little office in the town I was in because to begin with my two administrators would come to my house and they would sit in my kitchen and my kitchen table was my office, yeah? And um, my house phone was our business phone, you know. Um, and the laptops back then were big, chunky, they were horrible. Um, um, and um, slowly it grew. Then we moved into a little office and it grew. And now there are over 400 people in the company and we are in 28 countries worldwide. And we are just about to open an office in Bolivia in the next two months. And I was in Colombia two months ago researching and we may open there as well and, and so on. So it's been an interesting journey. 
but we've only just begun. So we've only just begun. So, so anyway, and, and it, it, uh, it's reg I live in a small town. I don't live in London. I live in a small town called Weymouth on the south coast of England. And we have an office there, and that's where we run the worldwide organization from. OK, right. So now let's talk about coaching. There are three pillars or foundations to coaching. But before that, this is an interesting figure. 90%. Now, th this was before the pandemic. Before. 90% of all coaching was delivered at a distance using telephone, Zoom, Skype, Hangouts, Teams, uh, that type of thing. Then COVID pandemic came and everything changed. And now this figure is 97% of all coaching all over the world is done at a distance. Now, I have to tell you, I love that. I love it so much because it means, it means that you as a coach, you can do something that most people in the world cannot do. You can live where you want to live. Now think about it. That's not the way the world works. In life, let's say you live here in this town and you hear about a job in this town. Well, people will move, won't they? People move for, for work. It doesn't mean you love that town. It means there's a good job there. Coaching is different. I live in a very small town called Weymouth on the south coast of England. There is no industry there. It's on the beach. It's very beautiful. We have palm trees. A lot of people don't believe me when I tell them we have palm trees in, on the south of England. We have beautiful golden sand beaches. I don't have any clients in Weymouth, in the town I live. I have a client right now um, called Gosha. She's in Gdansk in the north of Poland. She's a senior project manager for an IT company. We coach once a month on Zoom. We've been coaching for about one and a half years. I've never met Gosha. Now I see her, we, her face is on Zoom, and, and, but I've never really met. I have a client called Celia. Celia works for a big pharmaceutical company called Amgen. She lives in La Jolla, near San Diego, in California. That's eight hours difference to me. We coach at 8 a.m. her time, which is 4 p.m. where I live in England. So she gets into work, opens our laptop, we have a Zoom coaching for about an hour, and then she carries on working. I have a gentleman called Wodek in the city of Łódź, in the middle of Poland. I have Douglas in Singapore. Again, big time differences, you know. Um, but I do it from my home in Weymouth. So I can live where I want to live, enjoy time with my family, my children, my, and build a worldwide business. You could ne 20 years ago, you could not do that. But now because of technology, the internet, good Wi-Fi, now you can live wherever you want and you can build an international business. So you don't just have to have clients from Sofia or Plovdiv or Varna. You can have clients 
anywhere in Europe, anywhere in America, anywhere in the Far East, in the world. And I love that. It means that there is no limit to how you can build your business. So it means you can live here in Sofia and just have clients anywhere in the world. The only barrier is language. Language is the only barrier. Um, a good friend of mine, Cassandra Bishkoff, later if I find her LinkedIn profile, I'll show it to you. Cassandra is from Bucharest, Romania. She's a single lady. Uh, the love of her life is two things, traveling and Greece. She loves Greece. And she speaks, she now speaks Greek. And she speaks Romanian, of course she's Romanian. She speaks English and she speaks Italian. Um, and she spends about six or eight months of every year in Greece, traveling around, going to different islands and locations and staying in Air, Airbnbs. You know Airbnb? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And she has her laptop, that's all she needs, laptop and a headset. And sometimes she sits on the beach and she has her phone, so she has a Wi-Fi connection through her phone as a hotspot. And she sits on the beach, coaching. Um, and she has clients in Italian, in Romanian, in Greek, and in English. So multi, multilingual around the world. So it just shows the possibilities.